Daily Flicker, June the 22nd, 1935. Battle over control of bank system. What will the government do for money? Andover, murder of a tobacconist. Some cool hair. It is not the right time. 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 Andover, Hampshire, population 31,200 inhabitants. Dear Mr. Poirot, well, what do you think? I believe that I won this round. The end of our affair went like clockwork, don't you feel? But the fun has only just started. I would like to draw your attention to Bexil on Sea on the 25th of this month. We're having a crazy time. Best wishes, ABC. The next crime will be in Bexhill. We must warn Jap to Scotland Yard. Did the letter indicate anything that might help the police? To be honest, I think we can already guess something about the next victim. But I need to think about it a little more. Let us examine this more closely. Certain characters in the two letters may have similar defects. Let us examine the characters in this world. Let us examine the characters in this world. Hmm, the W is not printed properly. Yes, the A appears to be quite unusual. 
Yes, this eye is weird. Hmm, the W is not printed properly. Let us examine the characters in this world. Yes, the A appears to be quite a new... Right, let us compare this with the other letter. Hmm... The W is not printed properly. However, the characters in the two words do not match. Yes, this I is weird. Hmm, the W is not printed properly. That's right. The A characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. No, I already... I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. Yes, this eye is weird. Right, let us compare this with the other letter. Yes, the I characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. Hmm, the W is not printed properly. Right, let us compare this with the other letter. Of course, the W characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. My theory was right. These two letters were written with the same typewriter. Both letters were written on the same typewriter and show the same characteristics. You surprise me, Poirot. You usually ignore material proof. But there is nothing usual about this case, Hastings. Nothing must be overlooked. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. So, Poirot, have you found something? Oui, I believe so. But I am afraid it is not enough to stop the murderer. Let us go and see Chief Inspector Chap. I will explain there. It's impossible to get through to Scotland Yard. No doubt about it. Hastings is going bored. It may be time to go to Scotland Yard.
It may be time to go to Scotland Yard. To Scotland Yard, please. Jab has invested a great deal in his career. Jab is an investigator greatly respected by his peers. Like all hunters, Hastings has always been fascinated by weapons. Jap appears to be snowed under. Jap appears to already be overloaded with work. My news is not going to improve matters. Bonjour, Chief Inspector. I am afraid we have some bad news. I have just received another letter signed ABC. The next crime will be on the 25th in Bexilancy. Are you completely sure it's from the same person? I have compared the two letters. There is no doubt about it. I suppose you think he's going to carry out his threats? I fear so. Good God, Poirot. Bexhill is very busy at this time of year, and we have no idea who the next victim will be. I suspect that the name of the second victim will start with B. What on earth makes you think such a thing? I thought about it when I saw the name Asha clearly written over the shop door of the unfortunate woman who was murdered in Andover last month. When I received a letter mentioning Bexhill, I deduced that the victim, like the town, might have been chosen by alphabetical order. So, it's an alphabet fiend. I'm going to have a list drawn up of all the people whose name starts with B. I hope there aren't too many of them. Bien, we should leave you to work, Chief Inspector. You have a few days to prepare yourself. Thank you for coming, my friends. Poirot? Chief Inspector Jap, your call does not bode well. Indeed, we have just found the body of a young woman on the beach in Bexhill. An ABC was placed on the body. We'll be there as soon as possible. Bexhill is a delightful town. It would be nice to come back and visit. I do not entirely agree. Walking at the beach damages my shoes, and it hurts my knee. So the years have not spared you, my friend. It's the same for all of us. 
That is exactly what I said to myself when I saw you back from your travels. Poirot! Do not be offended, Hastings. I can see Jack waiting for us. And from his face, I would say that things are not looking good. <laughs>